Make him feel amazing when you're around. And so be someone that, who brings, be someone who he really enjoys being around so much that he can't wait to see you again. And you think that this one is kind of a little bit more obvious, but sometimes we'll get women that'll come into our community and they'll be like, oh, why, what, you know, how do I get, make this guy miss me? How do I make him feel all these great things about me? And you're like, oh, well, what are your kind of interactions with this guy up to this point? And they'll be like, oh, well, you know, we argue all the time. I always pick fights with him about these different things and, <laughs> you know, like all this stuff. And you're like, okay, so basically... You know, it's like you've created this weird environment there. So make him feel amazing when you're around him because when he, he, if he feels really, it's like anything, right? If you go and you feel amazing around something and then you leave that, right? A lot of people miss, like for instance, you know, just talking about other things, a lot of people might miss other experiences that they have, experiences of eating, right? Like, oh, I, I really would love to have that again. They'll think about it in their mind. They're like... Oh, it was so good when I was eating that pizza or I, when I was eating that steak and they'll they'll think about it and they'll miss it, right? And and it's it's the same concept. Obviously, you're not a steak or a pizza. <laughs> Although it's the same concept that goes there, right? It's it's this great emotional experience that you have around something. And when you have that great emotional experience, when you go away from it, all of a sudden you miss it. You're like, "Man, that was really really good." And so one of the most powerful ways that you can do this is show, other than being kind and sweet and amazing around him, which you should be, <laughs> be kind and sweet and amazing when you're around him, is show him that you support who he is and who he wants to become in his life. And so in the last one, we talked about figuring out who he is and what he wants to become. And in this one, you're what you're doing is what you want to do is find parts of his personality where he where you can see that part of his personality helping him become that person that he wants to become so for instance let's say that he's an entrepreneur <laughs> it's an easy one because i'm an entrepreneur and so if he if he want if he's an entrepreneur or let's say he wants to become an entrepreneur and you talk to him and you see that he's really charming for instance, or you talk to him and you hear him talk about something where he was really pers uh, he really persevered towards something or he fought for something or he was really kind to somebody, like let's say he was kind to a, a waiter or a waitress or anything. You just find things that he does that he you can tell you're like, wow, you know, I can really tell that that you know you could be you could be a really great entrepreneur one day because I just I saw you interacting with that waitress and how kind she is and and I don't you know I don't know much about business but I think you really have to be kind and gentle and loving towards people in order to have a great business and you know just the way that you interacted with her it, it tells me that you know you could be a really great business person one day and so basically you're you're setting that up for him and you're talking to him about that there's a way to kind of like cut it off there, right? If it becomes a little bit too like mushy gushy, kind of lovey dovey type of thing, you could always be like, you know, it's too bad. There's, there's like ways to cut it back, right? Like a little tease where you're just like, ah, it's too bad. You're such a dork, you know, like it may, I, I might, I might really like you or something, you know? And, and, and basically if you throw that tease in there, it, it can be a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun and a little bit feeling less like it's super like lovey dovey gushy type stuff that's going on there. Another thing that you want to pay attention to here is avoiding falling in love with his potential because we get lots of women that come to us that say this stuff. They're like, oh, well, you know, he said he was going to be this and he said he was going to be that and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, he's not doing it. And so I'm like, you know, nagging him and criticizing him and I'm going to force him to be a better man. Right. And, and men don't like that men, <laughs> you know, men want you to love them for who they are. And so you want to, and, and for your best interest, it's to love him for who he is because he may never reach that person that he talks about or that he dreams about or whatever. And so if you can't live with the person that he is today, then 
it'll be a problem if he doesn't ever end up making it to be that person that he wants to become. As we said, you know, a lot of times life gets in the way with our dreams and our goals that we have. And so that, that can happen. It can happen. So make sure that you see him for who he is and love him for who he is.